All right, what is good, everybody? 734 here. Today, we got some more MX versus ATP Legends. A brand new update for y'all today. I am very excited to get into this video. We have some cool things uh, to talk about. First off, I want to say my bad. I have not uploaded in like almost a month, I think. Um, it's kind of frustrating. You know, it was the perfect time to grind content. Uh, with Super Motocross kind of happening, uh, there was just a lot of content coming out. Um, and so a lot of opportunity, but I just kind of fucked up, and I've been busy with work and, and kind of getting back into that, um, which I think I say that every time I miss a lot of time. But anyway, we got uh, some cool stuff to get into, so I'll go ahead and stick into that. Uh, but yeah. And the first thing I want to get into is the leaderboard, something we've had in literally every MX versus ATV game. Uh, kind of weird that they haven't added it up until now. I don't really understand why leaderboard specifically hasn't. Uh, coming to the game, I know on the Discord you can kind of find extra little details, but uh, yeah, finally have the leaderboards. Uh, and it's a weird thing that's taken this long, but uh, really cool. It's kind of the, the main way uh, that people have kind of you know tested skill other than league racing, which is still num uh, somewhat new. Uh, but leaderboards have kind of always been the uh, main uh, like thing to test your talent, I guess. I'm gonna try to find. Uh, where's like a track that I'm decent on? Not that one. There's always like the same people at the top, bro. Oh, 95, damn. <laughs> and the next big thing that they've added into this update is the rain being moved across to all tracks in the game. Supercross, uh, Nationals, it does not matter. It is in every single track. Uh, really cool, you know, I thought this feature is honestly one of the uh, most unique considering they have never gone this extreme with the rain. Um, to the point where it's like literally a full thunderstorm cycle, so it's just really cool, really interesting to me, uh, this whole, um, you know, rain update, I'm glad they've moved it across to all, um, you know, all tracks now, I've kind of always wondered, I think I've even mentioned this in past videos, what they're going to do with this, um, so cool that you can finally use it in Supercross, especially some of these, uh, Supercross World Tour tracks, it just looks really good, uh, you know, honestly, one of the coolest things I think they've done with this game is this specific feature. Um, I can't wait to see this in more MX vs. ACB games in the future. It's just um, absolutely sick, man. Absolutely sick that they've added this. Um, and I'm glad we finally now get it. I cannot stay up. Uh, but I think you get the point. Okay, I was mistaken. Not every single track, just most of them. The Pro Motocross tracks and the Supercross World Tour tracks. Um, and I think select Supercross tracks. Uh, my bad on that, a little misinformation, but try to clarify there. Alright, and the next thing to be added into the update is uh, more changes to 2023 Pro Motocross tracks. Uh, pretty common, nothing too crazy, and I'm actually not going to go into uh, the details of what is changes. Basically, all they do is they just make tiny little changes to uh, some of the Pro Motocross tracks. Uh, I'll go through the list here. 2023 Bruds Creek, Unidil, and Ironman. Uh, just those three have all been updated. I'm on Bruds Creek right now. I can see some of the differences, uh, specifically the section right before the finish section or finish line is um, new. It's kind of been, uh, it doesn't seem like there's as many jumps. If you look at the 2022 version, there's like a whole like rhythm section, it seems like, right before there. Uh, it's kind of been flattened out a little bit. Uh, there's still some jumps, um, but it's not as difficult. Um, and the track seems to be roughened up a little bit. I think that's what all uh, updates kind of mainly seek to do, is to make the tracks a little more rough. And it's definitely uh, definitely obvious, you know, I can see a little more, a little more, a little more stuff going on in the details of the track. Um, it looks good, you know, I think the whole, um, details, like, you can definitely tell there's been a lot of change, um, so I think that's cool, it definitely looks, uh, a, a lot harder, the texture of the dirt is definitely a little different, so, they've definitely changed a decent amount. But yeah, I'm not gonna go over every little detail of every little track, uh, that would take way too long, um, yeah, just know you can find that in other videos, um, and you can find it on Twitter, or, or the Discord, if you wanna get, like, super specifics. And next up, we got some more multiplayer stuff. Uh, last update, they were kind of doing similar things as well, but um, basically the race and timer has been extended to 60 seconds to allow more players to finish races. The race results timer has been reduced, so uh, simple. You know, after the race finishes, you know, instead of 30 seconds from the leader to the end point, there's 60 seconds, um, which I've still seen some people struggle with. I don't think it really matters, because I think, I think 30 seconds since seconds is just like a sweet spot where if you suck like it's just kind of like you're not going to finish in time uh, after 30 seconds normally they don't finish it normally it's still 
a long time until like the next position so i mean it does help it does work to some degree but um i mean yeah it, it's still cool and now to the gear um always cool when i add in some gear i think um i try to stretch this in every little video um but here we go we got the halloween themed fxr gear with the customizable i think it looks really cool not something i'm going to use personally i don't know if this is even a real gear set in real life but uh it looks cool you know to some degree we also have um i think it's new yeah or more new fxr um Charlie designs i think this is really cool i've been using um this one specifically um but it's kind of hard to match these um without the uh gas gas which is going to be in soon i'm gonna make a whole other video about all that um but yeah Charlie designs looks sick um but yeah i've just been running the basic stuff there's also um the pants for the fxr and then the Troy designs down here as well. I mean, those gear, those gear look looks really good. Honestly, it's not something I'm gonna use, just because they seem a little more outlandish with the FXR stuff at least. Um, oh wait, yeah, there's helmets as well. Um, but you know, the Troy design stuff when they add the gas gas, and if I ever use KTM, which I probably won't. Um, but they also have um, these helmets right here. Um, this one's customized. I don't know, or you can kind of see what it looks like stock in the picture. Um, and then, they, I don't know if they added anything else, I don't think they added any TLD helmets, uh, just still Thor, um, and FXR, really, it's all they've added. In terms of helmets in the last few updates, um, but yeah, that's it for the gear. Another thing I'd like to show off here is the new cameras, I think this is pretty cool, um, I don't know how experimental these are, how finished they are, um, but you can see right here, there's like the new Chase camera, Chase Encore, so it's inspired. You can actually tell very well this is a Encore um, vibe camera. You you can just tell actually. Um, it is a little weird when you try to like move it. It like fucks up and like doesn't actually like move the way it's supposed to when you're like trying to customize it. I don't know if that's intentional. But it looks weird like this is reflex like it just i don't know they're, they're a little buggy so be careful like this is you can't zoom out very much <laughs> for some reason it's just a weird type of camera like i i mean i know it's supposed to be different but it is uh it is odd i don't i don't know if there's supposed to be fully like this i don't know if there's like glitches to them but um yeah i just stick with this one um as those ones seem a little off still but so that is pretty much it. The last thing, um, cross save migration is now available for all console users. So when you upgrade from the last gen consoles to new gen, PS4 to PS5, uh, Xbox One or Xbox Series S to Xbox Series X, um, you can now bring your save game with you uh, if you're on the same account, I believe. Um, you know, crossing over. So it does look pretty cool, or that does seem like a pretty cool feature. I wish um, that would have been a thing when I came on like from ps4 to ps5 but hey, it's whatever i don't really care that much um it's pretty easy to get your progress back um except for playing all those career races would definitely be annoying as shit so that would have been nice um, but yeah that's pretty much it for this one guys i hope you did enjoy it um i'm gonna be coming with some more content soon um i'm gonna be talking about the a brand new track pass and you know the uh dlc that is coming out soon uh some more videos on the way stay tuned for that my birthday is next month so i gotta grind out all this stuff to get prepared yeah uh, you know for a bit of a giving type of break uh, my birthday is literally on thanksgiving you know kind of annoying um but you know and, hey legends is getting in the uh getting in the uh, mood with the pumpkins and and all that stuff uh getting in the fall mood so uh, Halloween's right around the corner. More updates coming soon, guys. I can't wait. Uh, I'm so excited uh, for everything that's about to come in this game. So, uh, more content. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.